today's tutorial we're looking at this guy, the Melkonig EK43 Grinder. Now just like me, they're big and strong, but they can be a little bit sensitive. So we need to treat them right. Tip number one, before I put coffee into the hopper, I want to make sure that the hopper's closed. That way you avoid coffee from falling down into the grinding chamber without the burr spinning. Because if you do that, it could jam and cause all sorts of problems and nobody wants that. Alright, so let's say for instance I've just ground off some decaf but now I'm making myself a delicious pour over. What I want to make sure is that because this grinding chamber can retain a little bit of coffee, we want to give it a bit of a purge out. So we'll do that with a couple of grams of the new coffee that we're using. So I'll turn it on our grinder. Coffee's closed off, I'll put a couple of grams in. Nice, so the grind is purged. Now we can put our dose in. Beautiful, all done. Now before grinding off another dose, here's an important thing to keep in mind. See how you can just hear the motor still spinning? There it goes. Now it's off. We want to make sure we don't turn it on again before it completely stops spinning. Otherwise, there's a little component in here called the shear plate, and we could break that by turning the motor on while it's still running. Here's another little trick. You can find yourself grinding off some retail coffee, for instance, and for some reason you need to stop halfway. Try this. Because if we have to stop and there's whole beans still within the grinding chamber, when you turn it on again, you're going to cause a jam. And remember, make sure the motors completely stop spinning before you turn it back on again. 